Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 343. That is, what is the regulation testing? Let me answer. So what is regulation testing? Regulation testing is also known as compliance testing. So as explained in one of the previous sessions of this series, okay, compliance testing is performed to test whether the developed software meets the required standards and regulations or not. Okay, so it's also known as regulation testing. Okay, compliance testing and regulation testing both are same. They check whether the developed software meets the required standards and regulations or not. Okay, what exactly the standards and regulations are? Okay, we can categorize the standards or regulations into two types. One is IT, that is software related, non IT, which are non software related. Coming to the IT, we have one standard known as W3C or regulation known as W3C, which uh, stands for uh, World Wide Web, okay? World Wide Web Consortium, okay? So if you take an example of a software that is Selenium, which is a test automation tool in software testing industry and which is very popular in software testing now uh, from long time, okay? So uh, recently, uh, I think this uh, it's been months back, some months back, Selenium 4 version got released into the market. Okay, till Selenium 3, the Selenium was not W3C, okay, compliant. Till Selenium 3 version, 1, 2, 3 versions were not W3C, but Selenium had made a big decision of moving to W3C standard. Why? Because if it is standardized, if it is regulated well, okay, what happens? It will gain the uh, gain more market, okay? It, it Its ecosystem will increase. A lot of people will tend to use it, okay? Because it's a quality standard product, okay? They will get a feeling. The software has a quality, they feel like, okay? It's, it's Selenium 4 is W3C standardized and now accepted by a lot of softwares in the market, okay? The acceptance will rise, guys, okay? Different browsers will accept uh, very easily now. Different operating system will accept now. Uh, and other uh, other tools also will tend to use Selenium, okay, as part of their ecosystem and all. This all happens magically when a software becomes W3C compliant, okay? There's only one example of standard, guys, okay? So, and coming to the non-IT, okay, which is not related to software, ISI, in India, we have something known as ISI, Indian Standards Institute, okay? If you purchase any product in India, if you go to any local market in India and try to product, a, try to, purchase something, it can be pen or it can be book or it can be bag or whatever it is, okay? And if it is marked with this ISI mark, that is ISI standard or regulation, then people will trust it, okay? Because the, they believe the standard, okay? The standard, uh, the quality of the uh, that particular product they are purchasing, they will have a uh, kind of feeling that uh, it can be used for a long time and uh, it is a standard product, quality product kind of, okay? So, Generally, ISI sets the standard for industrial products, okay, non-software related guys, okay. Examples are helmets, okay. So helmets uh, are generally marketed in India with ISI standard. If you purchase such kind of helmets, uh, helmets, if, uh, if you uh, have met with an accident, if you, uh, in future, if you met with an accident, okay, the helmet is not going to break. You will have that confidence and trust because of this ISI standard label marked on the helmet. If you don't purchase the helmets which are not marked, you purchase the helmets which are not marked with ISI, then you are in trouble, okay. So hope guys, you got an idea what exactly the standards and regulations are, okay? This regulation testing and compliance testing are all about checking whether the developed software is developed according to the required standards and regulations or not. That's what is the thing. But who is going to perform the testing, okay? Normal software testings, are they going to perform the testing? No guys, okay? Here, some independent companies who are specialized in testing such kind of regulation standards in general are going to perform this compliance and or regulation testing, which, which both have the same, different, uh, different name, but the same thing, okay? And uh, so coming to the regulation testing again, a uh, lot of things I already covered about regulation testing, uh, That, but there is one more testing known as conformance testing, okay? This is compliance testing, which is also known as regulation testing. There's one more testing known as conformance testing. There's small difference between the compliance and conformance and, uh, okay? So there is a small difference between compliance uh, testing and conformance. That is nothing but regulation and conformance testing. Coming to the regulation testing, it is a, done in a formal way, okay? It has a process, process-oriented way it is performed and precise way, very accurate results will be there according to the standards. They check the standards in an accurate manner. But coming to the conformance testing, which is 
which is another uh, type of testing which uh, does the same thing similar to compliance and regulation is informal way okay conformance is informal and non precise way guys coming to regulation testing which is compliance testing it is done in a formal and precise way of testing standards so hope guys you understood what is regulation testing in this session so that's all for this session the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye